Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. Today I have a quick app review of Grau Online Era for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This app is currently $1.99 in the US App Store, uh, and it has three in-app purchases for Growlit Packs and Character Slots Packs. Um, but here you go, uh, we got your homie here saying hi to all of you. Uh, you've got your um, usual interface up here uh, with, I'm actually at my house right now. Uh, they come free with the game, uh, you can just make one I think it's like a hundred growlets per month or something. You can choose the outside of your outside of your house and the inside of your house. So I chose this one. I don't have any furniture because money in this game is really hard to get. But up here you got your guild message, and my guild uh, is called Secret Security Era, and there's no branches or anything. And uh, that's the guild pick that I put up. Um, so. Uh, oh god. Uh, then you've got furniture here. This button here, you can go to news, about, shop, my house, friends, game center, invite, Facebook, gangs, and feedback. Gangs are like guilds, so I might call it that in this video. This is your normal text. You got your emoticons, but like, BRB actually stays there when you move, which is kind of weird, and you have to like, use like, smiley face or something to get rid of it, because those go away. Uh, then you got your question mark button here, which will give you uh, kind of like a help button, and you can read all about. You got guns, gangs, cops versus gangsters, which are the two factions. Uh, they, I think they, yeah, they put fractions. They might want to change that. But anyways, um, so I'm a gangster right now, and because uh, they're cool. They have red names. Cops have uh, gold names. So a lot of people want to be cops because they think that's so cool, but it's really not. Uh, then you got cars, and you can buy your own car. They cost a lot of money. Houses, like I said, jobs um, are kind of boring, and you don't get <laughs> much money for them. So right here, you've got your two quick select buttons, which you can change by clicking on yourself, clicking here. So I've got my starter knife, and I'm equipping it. And then you've got whatever else you want. Uh, I use a tra trash pick to pick up um, some trash, which you can, I think, recycle. I don't really know what to do with it. But you can do stuff with it. I got cola and ammo. Flower basket for picking up flowers. You can put a gun and equip that so that you can pull it out and shoot people. Uh, your directions here, up, down, left, and right. It's not like the D-pad. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like Dino Smash buttons. And then you got, you can shoot in any direction. I am running out of ammo. Yeah, I got, only got 43 ammo left. But you can drop things as well, which is cool because you can trade, basically. So if I click on this and I click this, I can drop it and give it to someone else if they need money or something, uh, which is cool. Shovel, you can dig for shells. So general interface interface here, 103 kills, 23 hours, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so punch button here to pick up things. And I think that's basically it for the interface. Um, so I'm going to go outside. Let's just see if he has anything to say real quick. So that's what he has to say to you guys. And I think that's all of homie that we need. It's a big enough dose of homie. Yeah, that's right. Um, so now let's go outside into the real world. Uh, it's pretty populated. You got your... Um, map button here. It does occasionally a crash on me. You can zoom in on the streets. 779 players online. There's normally about 900. So these are the different zones, which are basically like towers, which you can take if you're a fan of classic, which I'm not. Uh, then you got shops. Uh, looks like they've been adding more. Um, so there's some shops there. Jobs to do. Collect flowers. Or deliver mail. Or pick up trash. Or collect shells. 
And the map is pretty big. I don't know. It's it's all right. It doesn't look like it has much room to expand. Uh, but I will be the judge of that if I can get off map. If there is an off map, not really sure. Uh, then you got your friends here. You can see where they are. So uh, I don't see anyone on. There's not that many people on right now. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty laggy. It does crash a lot when I hit the map button or if I um, get sent to a hospital. Every time you die, you get sent to a hospital unless you pay 1,000, I don't know, currency. I don't know if it's growlets or what. Money. Um, $1,000, let's just say, to get a revive for one week. It's a one-week revive, so you don't get sent to a hospital every time you die, which is kind of cool. Uh, cars, like I said, cost a lot. You, you don't make much money off the job, so you're going to spend a whole day doing a job to get maybe 2,000 growlets. It's not really worth it. So they kind of want you to buy the growlet packs there, I think. Um, but that's basically it. There's uh, not too much to do, but there is sort of an objective, unlike classic, which was kind of pointless. But there's a bit of a a bit of a uh, a reason to play, and you know, try to get better and get better weapons and stuff. You can wield dual weapons. There's tons of different guns to use uh, and stuff like that. So overall, I give it a three out of four star review. Um, really laggy. Uh, in many areas, but uh, overall, it's not that bad. I mean, crash every maybe 20, 30 minutes, but I'm on a second gen iPod Touch. I don't know about older uh, or newer generation devices, but it crashes a lot for me. But, you know, who cares? 20, 30 minutes, not that bad for me. Just open it back up. Uh, so, overall, that's uh, it's a pretty good game. Online era uh, for $1.99 in the U.S. App Store. So, go check it out. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below with any questions or suggestions or concerns. That's about it. Peace.